Oh boy, what are we getting into next? I think we are going to turn this into this. Mm. Hey you, wipe your lip. Hello friends, Leah here, Doers Nation. On this 100 degree day, we are going to be doing some baking together. Why not, right? You can see the boys are taking a nap on the couch and I have everything ready for us to make baklava cheesecake. I bet you're wondering, why baklava cheesecake? Well, it's actually my mom's birthday this weekend and we are going up to the cabin and I always make her her favorite treat. This year she asked for baklava cheesecake. This one is a bit tricky, so you're coming along for the journey. Give me pointers if you have any. I am always happy to learn but I think it's going to go great. I know at the very least it's going to be delicious as long as we can put it all together. So phyllo dough upon phyllo dough upon butter and nuts and cheesecake and everything delicious. Let's do it. Here is all of the fixings. Oh boy, it is going to be good. I got the saucepan ready already. Whoop, whoop. Let's make a baklava cheesecake. Boom. Shell the pistachios. Shell the pistachios. Shell the pistachios. Boom. Eight ounces of shelled pistachios. Next on the agenda, we are going to actually combine the nut mix. So for the nut mixture, it is going to be eight ounces of pistachios. We are going to use eight ounces of walnuts, which in this case is about half this bag. So I'm just gonna squeeze in the middle. Oh man, that's looking good already. We are going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. These, but look how darn adorable these measuring cups are. I just love cute things. I think we need a little bit more than that. Um, baking is one of those unique things though that you definitely need to follow certain measurements. So I don't want to encourage that too much because there is definitely a science to it. And then all we need then is a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll just take a little bit off the top there. And then we're gonna mix this puppy up. And check her out. I'm gonna set this aside. Actually, in the... Next on the agenda, we have to make this syrup. First thing we're going to put in there is one cup of water. I use bottled water at my house because my water is not that awesome here. So for baking, one cup of water. Set that aside. We have one cup of sugar. And again, I don't know if you can see these absolutely adorable measuring cups, but I am We have to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. I actually already squeezed the lemon juice. And last, but certainly not least, we have a quarter cup of honey. Else 
Now that we've added all of our ingredients to the saucepan, I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit because we do need to bring this to a boil. Once we have this to a boil, then we're going to let it simmer for four to five minutes. We are going to add a third of this mixture to the nut mix that we already made. And then we're going to set the other two thirds aside for later. I can't wait for you to see what exactly this is going to be used for. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Our syrup has come to a boil and I let that simmer for about four to five minutes. I'm going to assume that this is about two cups of syrup since I did put one cup of water in and one cup of sugar and just a very small amount of lemon. Um, so I'm going to pour this into here and then that way I have a more accurate way of knowing what a third of this mixture is, which would be two thirds in this case. And there we are. We are going to pour one third of this mixture, which again, in this case, is two thirds. So we will need one and one third left. That looks good to me. And we have to just mix our nut mixture now. Ooh, this is actually going to go on both the bottom of this cheesecake and some of it's also going to go on the top. So it is layered. We are going to layer the phyllo dough. And of course, we're going to paint our butter between the layers and then this will go on top of that the cheesecake next and then some of this nut mixture is going to go on top of that cheesecake mix before we fold all that phyllo dough over oh, i wish that you could smell this through the camera i'm going to set this to 350 how about let's make the cheesecake? I already got my cream cheese opened up because I always fuddle around with that. I don't know about everybody else, but cream cheese seems to be like the hardest thing that there is to open. Uh, we need to put two cups of cream cheese in, which in cream cheese world is two eight ounce packs of cream cheese. And then we need to mix in the sugar. I already measured out two thirds of a cup of sugar. And then we're gonna beat this together real good. Love a KitchenAid. Once that is beat together real good, we're gonna add the eggs. Really, no matter what I'm mixing, I like to, before I really complete the mixing of it, take everything off of the beater and pull everything away from the sides and then that way you are making sure that everything is properly incorporated and it looks like we're looking pretty darn good here oh my goodness i absolutely love cheesecake this is going to be amazing to incorporate one egg at a time until it is really mixed very well into the mixture. So a lot of times I like to crack my egg somewhere else and then that way if you do happen to get eggshells in it you can always pull them out. That one looks phenomenal. Boom. In the mix. Mix that really, really, really good. We'll get our another egg ready.
Before I add the third egg, I am gonna pull that up and wipe the sides down. I'm happy I did that. Can you see all that thicker stuff there? We need to make sure that that egg is very much incorporated into the entire mixture or this cheesecake will not turn out as well as what it should. We mix that a little bit. Looks good. Boom. Third egg in. And for this recipe, we need one cap cup of sour cream, or you can substitute yogurt if you would like. Now we are going to incorporate the sour cream into our mixture. one quarter cup of heavy cream and then we're gonna zest some lemon in there so this is one quarter cup heavy cream in everything is wonderful as I'm sure you know we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla Now we're going to zest approximately a tablespoon of lemon into the mix. And my mom will be very happy about this because she loves everything lemon. That looks pretty good to me. Not pretty good, it looks really good. Bring that puppy down. And the last thing that we have to add to this mixture is actually the cornstarch. Cornstarch is always used really as a thickening agent and we need to add three tablespoons of cornstarch to this particular recipe. So we're going to use this right because again, super important that this gets incorporated fully into this mix. Melt eight ounces of butter over medium heat. Now for the assembly of this masterpiece. I'm going to soak this brush real good and just make sure that I have everything super well coated on the bottom of this spring form pan because again, this is going to get super duper sticky and I believe that this is going to be somewhat complicated. So this is going to be a fun journey for us. I'm excited. Again, I hope that you are. I'm just going to make sure that this is down the sides as well. Um, baklava is pretty much um, butter and phyllo dough and, and nuts and simple syrup that you make. So this is pretty much guaranteed to be delicious, but I also want to guarantee that it's going to come out of this pan. All right, that seems like that's good to go. Let's stick that in here. And our phyllo dough. And this phyllo dough is super duper delicate. Um, I moistened this cloth here so nice and moist as we work with it. So it recommends that you drape it and I'm sure that my long fingernails here are going to be a hindrance, but we got our first layer down. Yay! And then we are pretty much going to just 
brush butter on it and we're going to do this many times over. So if you don't get it on the first shot, good news is you have about 11 more layers to go and I'm pretty much going to play this one by ear and see what it looks like it needs as we go along because not all phyllo dough is created equal. Get that back over there so it stays nice and moist. Brush butter, phyllo dough, brush butter, phyllo dough, brush butter, phyllo dough. Be gentle. Repeat over and over and over again. All righty. This right here is what we're working with. I think it looks pretty darn good, all things considered. Um, next thing we have to do is add in half of the nut mix that we made in the beginning. So, I'm going to say that that right there is about half and then I'm going to make sure that that's evenly distributed here in the bottom of our pan. Be gentle. Woo wee, that is pretty. Now we're going to pour our cheesecake mix. Wowza. Spread that out. Take the remainder of our nut mix and we're going to put it over the top here. I'm actually going to use my hands because I think that it's probably going to be the best way to go about this. Wonderful, it is coming together. Next thing, since we have our nuts on top, we are going to place a couple layers of phyllo over this to seal her up. This you have to be a little bit delicate with. Really this entire dessert you pretty much have to be delicate with. And the unveiling of this cheesecake is going to be epic. So I always love desserts that kind of are a bit of a surprise. And I think that this one is pretty much going to be a surprise, especially since it's a spring form pan. Hopefully it springs out of the pan. <laughs> That's what we're aiming for at the end of this. On the edges is going to be very dry, so I'm curious to see how that folds over because we are going to fold all of this down onto itself and create a really neat top for this. And then we're going to grind up some pistachios and garnish them with, garnish it with them. Ooh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about this. And you know what? I have to wait till this weekend to eat it. In fact, I'm thinking about leaving it in the spring form pan to travel with it since I have about three hours and a cooler that this needs to take a venture in. So that should also be interesting. Hopefully I don't destroy it along the way because my mom would be super sad and the point is to make her super happy. The whole time she insisted, Leah, you don't have to make that. You don't have to make that. Well, you know what? You only have birthday once a year and I love to try new things. So now that we got that done, 
Now we can take all of the phyllo dough that, that is around this and bring it all in. And again, I know it is going to be crispy. I really like to make this pretty on top. So we are going to work with it and be as delicate as possible with this. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I am so excited to see how this turns out. Like, it is hard to put into words. I adore baking. So kind of a neat fact, fun fact for you. My mom, when I was growing up, was actually a cake decorator. So this is kind of like a tribute to her as well. So it's for her birthday and in tribute to her because she is the one that I can really say gave me a foundation to be able to do things like this. And for those of you who didn't have a mom like that, no worry, I'll be your internet mama. And you think I'm kidding, but I am naturally extremely mother. I am happy to teach somebody what they want to learn or give them some words of wisdom. Man, this is going to be legit. More butter. Butter makes everything better, don't you know? Woo wee. That right there, folks, is a baklava cheesecake. We are going to throw this in the oven here. I already have the oven set for 350 degrees, and it's recommended that it be in there for 45 minutes. I am personally going to set the timer for 30 minutes because I wanna see how the top is browned at that point. And if it is browning too quickly, we're going to throw some tin foil on the top of it. 30 minutes, set it and forget it. Actually, don't forget it. How could you? It's baklava cheesecake. Boom. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Wow, zuh. This puppy is fresh out of the oven. And boy, oh boy, does that look good. A great way to know whether or not baklava cheesecake is done is just by a little bit of a jiggle in the middle. And before this cools down, we actually need to pour our simple syrup all over. Oh my goodness. Well, I think it is safe to say that this is going to be good. And then we're going to garnish it with the pistachios that I just ground up. And they will stick to that syrup that we made. And pretty much from here, we let that cool down. And then once it gets down to room temperature, we can throw it in the fridge overnight. And this puppy is going upstate and mama is gonna be happy. Yum, yum. Mm. Wow, I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Let's pray for a safe transport. Aw, Larry. We're on the home stretch to the cabin. Yay! We have arrived at my happy place.
We have arrived safely at the cabin. I promise this was just as good to taste as it was to look at. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy. Yeah, I'm bigger than you. I'm higher in the food chain. Get in my belly. Come on. Subscribe. I don't want you to miss anything. What do you want to do next? Let me know in the comments section. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm being serious. Let me know what you want to do next in the comment section.